Hello, my lovely Capricorns. This is Davida with a Medium of the Light Tarot. Ooh, cards are flying out. They're flying out before I even began. All right, so we got Temperance right out of the, the gate here. So this is your timeless love reading. Let's see, we've got Temperance, we've got the Chariot, we've got the Four of Cups. We've got the Five of Swords. We've got the Wounded Warrior card. The Star card. Got the Ace of Swords reversed. That's the first reversal. Come on, cards, cooperate. They don't even want to get straightened up. So, obviously, off the bat, I'm feeling um, right out of the gate here some frustration. You're trying to have patience about this. You know there's divine timing involved, and you don't like it. But who does, right? Because we want it in our own timing. And then here's the chariot card where you're like, okay, let's move this forward. I'm really okay with this. Let's do this. And then here's the four of cups. You know, it's like you're starting to pour the cups out because you're like, okay, um, getting a little apathetic, getting a little annoyed here. Is this even worth it? This is you. This is them. And this is the storyline in general. Flip it has, as it reads. I feel like this person's getting what they need. Like they're like, oh no, you know, I'm I'm happy where we're at right now. I'm I'm not in a rush. And they feel like you're kind of what I'm hearing it's browbeating them, like, okay, let's go. What's the problem here? And they're just like, this is interesting. This is kind of similar from the last reading that I did for Leo's. It's like, no, let's take a shower, you know, jump in, in the pool or the tub and do a relaxing bath. Like, there's just no rushing here. And it's not, I don't feel like you're trying to rush it, but you're like, okay, I'm not going to sit here forever. There is a lot of communication between the two of you. You're just not getting the communication that you so desire. And I'm getting player energy here. Like they, they don't want to take it any further because they want to keep their options open. But they also really care about you. And here is the Ace of Swords and it is in reverse. So it's like, you're like, okay, stop keeping me in the dark here. Either, you know, get in or get out. And here's the Wheel of Fortune and it's in reverse. Yeah, there definitely, there's player there with your person. And what I'm hearing is rightfully so. They feel very justified in keeping their options open. What I'm hearing is they never promised you anything. And you know that, you know that, that that's true. But you also feel that there is potential here. So anyway, let me stop channeling here and let's play with the cards more. <clears throat> Excuse me. With it, sorry, having a choke festival here. <clears throat> the lover's card came out with this temperance. So it's like, you know that there's great potential here and that you want to move forward and build something solid with them. You know, you're coming forth with this mature energy, 
but you are losing your patience. Interesting. So this is <clears throat> the Six of Cups. It's in reverse. So this is, in a love reading, this is the Soulmates card. So they know that you're connected, but they don't want to acknowledge it. They're, they're not ready. The Moon card in reverse. It's like they're keeping, they're keeping their feelings about you very close. They're not really sharing with you, and that's a part of your frustration. And with the star card comes <clears throat> the seven of cups, which is, you know, choices or delusions of choices that they have. They feel like, you know, oh, I have choices. I want to keep my options open. Let me see. Let me check in here. Okay. So this is the beginning of a runner, chaser, twin flame, soulmate connection here. And your person's the runner. They're like, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm keeping this light and fresh and, you know, I got options. But with this being in the reverse, it's kind of like they're deluding themselves. Because deep down they know that you're a soulmate twin flame connection, but they're just, they're trying real hard not to wake the hell up. So with this, you know, because you guys are still doing a lot of communication you know, but sorry, I'm just listening. So with this, listening to spirit, that is that you're already battling your demons. You're already going through the dark night of the soul. They're not. Okay. Spirit saying, no, that's not actually true. The reason why they're playing this game is because they're scared shitless. And it's almost like this, it's unconscious at this point. But for you, it's very conscious. Like, you know what's going on here. With this Ace of Swords comes the Death card. Oh, no, it's not the Death card, but it's got the, the Grim Reaper in there. Pardon me. So they're trying to keep a hold of what they have. <laughs> so funny. Because it's like they're trying to keep a hold of like, oh, no, I'm keeping my options. And everything's cool. You know, no rush. But they can feel that the Grim Reaper is right freaking behind them. Like, shit's about to go down for them. They're about to go into their dark night of the soul. But they're trying to be like, no, everything's cool. You know, you can tell that this person can see that the Grim Reaper is right behind them or right next to them. It's like, you can run, but you can't hide. And I think... They're scared of this, you know, and this is the, the three of swords, but it's in reverse. So it's kind of like the, the swords have already fallen out. As you can see, you know, if it's upright, the swords have already fallen out and the heart's starting to heal. They just, they didn't see this coming. They weren't prepared. Honestly, I don't think you were prepared either. Like you weren't thinking, oh, I'm going to meet my soulmate or my twin flame you know, by dating blah, 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 whoever it is. And, you know, but you're, you're ahead of the game as far as healing and acknowledging this. And with this, um, wheel of fortune here comes the magician card in the reverse. So there's this, this manifesting, this creation that's being stale. And that's why you're frustrated. <laughs> and of course, the Knight of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. This is like the slowest moving offer ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but that's what it seems like sometimes. So you're just going to have to be like a mega patient here. And of course, what was the first card out? Our friend, Temperance. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So we're going to use the Twin Flame Journey Oracle. What is that? Some random card sneaking in. Okay, yeah, you're exploring your Divine Feminine. And you're ascending. Those are the first two cards that came out. So you're going to need to take this time since you have time. And you know what you're dealing with with the Lover's card here. This is the time for you to continue to go through your Dark Night of the Soul. 
battle your own demons, clear the path, and, you know, go towards your divine feminine and keep ascending. Go towards those calmer waters. You might see a turn for the better in during the winter time, but I'm also feeling like as far as this goes, it's going to take some, while, some time for them to thaw out, to open up. You know, at points, and I hate to say this, but at points, Capricorn, you're going to feel abandoned. Because this person is hardcore in denial and very, very much asleep. Ha ha. But they want to be their divine masculine. So very rarely do we get them together in a reading along with this. So there is great potential here. You're just gonna have to really employ the old patience. Patience, patience, patience. Jeez Louise. Hmm. You might wanna seek some guidance. Obviously this is, um, for me, this is the Hermit card, so you're definitely, definitely going to need to go within. Actually, what I'm hearing when I'm looking at this is, what I'm hearing is you, it would be advantageous for you to decide to just become friends with this person and kind of let them go on their way. Because I think when they feel that you're pulling back, they'll pull forward and it will help them. And it has to be sincere. It can't be like the play, you know, playing of the game. And believe me, girl, I know. So it's going to make them want to come into this more. And it's not like you're abandoning them. You're just going to be taking care of you. Because to be in this energy of Someone not being awake and you are awakening, it's frustrating as all get out. You know, and you don't want to feel bound to this. Well, I hate to tell you, you are, but you're still going to have to kind of weave your way through it. You're going to have to, you know, along with that, you're going to have to deal with your own demons. You know, this has come up twice now. And this is not only for you, but this is for them. So it's really important for you to do your personal healing. Figure out what your demons are and get rid of it because you don't want to come into, you know, a, an expansive relationship that's, you know, soulmate twin flame when you've got this demon behind you, a.k.a. baggage. And then you guys will go through these lame cycles of like running, chasing, abandonment. So do your work and continue to live your life. Yeah, you're going to have to release this to a certain degree. Release the idea of a relationship right now. Because if you try it, even if they're willing, it's just going to, it's kind of like, yeah, it's like the message received, but they can't, you guys can't quite reach each other. But have faith because there's a lot of potential here. You're just going to, it's just going to require a lot of freaking patience. Patience is your new BFF. All right, there, Capricorns. Oh, wait, you know what? I think I'm going to shed a little more light. So then, let me see. What does... Let me see. So their 3D self, what does their 3D self want you to know right now? Nobody lights me up and inspires me like you do. I feel so strongly and I, well, I feel you so strongly and I can taste your essence. So it's interesting. It's already, we, like they, they know that you're something special like we had here where it's the soulmate card. Hmm. 
my love for you goes so deep. And that I'm getting from their higher self. Because they don't have the capacity right now to go that deep. But they will. It says, I am, in the, I am lost in the ocean that is you. One more. I am burning with passion for you. I want to take some romance cards. So what else does Capricorn need to know? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And that's what this whole reading has been about. Heal, heal, heal. You know, battle your demons. Release. Make sure that you're not bound. You know, go through abandonment issues that you might have from the past. You know, because what I'm hearing is you're going to need to prepare yourself. So I hope this was helpful, Capricornies. Um, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and please comment down below so I can see how this resonated with you and what your storyline is. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.